Hi, this is Ed Gregory for Photos in Colour and today we're going to be talking about how you can take great firework photos. So it is the 4th of July, which is the Independence Day in the USA from the UK, which is where I am from, and it's a famous day to have loads of fireworks. But how are you going to capture those images with your camera? Well, I'm going to quickly tell you how to do that in a few easy steps. So just to get straight into it, the quick tips are you need to have a camera with a long shutter speed or bulb mode that sounds like this. You will need a tripod to sit your camera on so that it doesn't wobble. And then basically you, you're ready to go. Take the photographs and create some amazing images. And then you need some specific settings. Now, capturing fireworks is actually really simple. All you're doing is opening the shutter speed for a long time so you don't capture a moment of the firework going off. What happens is as the fireworks extends, you're gonna capture all of those moments in one image. It's really simple. First thing you need is to have your camera set in bulb mode. So that means that basically, as long as you have your button pressed on the shutter speed, it stays open for the length of the firework and then you release it at the end of the image and it sounds like this. Nice and simple. What I usually do is you aim the camera at the fireworks. You're going to set it to manual focus. So you're gonna focus in the sky. So when they first start, that's when I will find my focus uh, and then I will turn it to manual so that the focus is now locked off where they're going to be. I uh, Usually you want it on a high f-stop so you can capture the whole of the, the, the depth of the sky. So somewhere around f8 is usually pretty good to take photographs. Although you're taking photos at night, you don't need a high ISO. So something nice and low, you can shoot at say ISO 200. And then it's a little bit of trial and error. So aim at the sky, anticipate the, the firework going off. You hit go, like so. The firework ends and then end and that's it. And all you need to do is you can have a look at the back of the camera to see how it looked and then you can make any changes. Now, if your image is overexposed, so the fireworks are way too bright, then just boost the f-stop is one way of doing it and make that higher or you can just take the ISO lower. If your camera doesn't do bulb, not a problem. Just set it to one second or two seconds. That's easy. If you don't have a tripod, that's actually okay as well. You can take magnificent photos without having clever settings. But I just held it locked in like this, took the photo like so, and this was the image that I got. Taking photographs of fireworks is actually really easy. Just remember those few things, but also break the rules and have some fun. I also like to sometimes press it, move it around, and then release it. And you get these weird swirly shapes, which are quite a lot of fun, really great abstract. Firework photos really don't need very much editing at all. A little bit of contrast change maybe, the black's blacker, the color's a bit brighter, but that's basically it. They look amazing straight out of camera. Remember to go over to photosincolor.com where you can find all sorts of photography news. No. Go over to photosincolor.com where we have news, reviews, and articles written every single day from the photography world. Remember to sign up for your free photography guide to taking better travel photos. You can do that on the website really easily. And why not watch some of the other videos that we have posted just over here? Thank you so much for watching and have fun taking great photos.